looks like all you need is some jeans and then you just cut the butt out and keep the belt and so let's see how this goes because it just looks weird especially when it's not on the person like mm -mm. hey you guys it's denise at my luxury first and today i just want to show you these I don't know what to call them yet, okay? I I kind of want to call them chaps because, you know, the buttless chaps. But then it's like they're leggings. But then it's like they're jeans. But then it's like they're ripped jeans. Like, I'm not exactly sure what they're calling it. So basically, what I did or what you see here is these were black jeans, okay? So now I cut them. So as you can see, the legs have been cut. So they were black ripped jeans, okay? So I'm just trying to show you guys. They were black ripped jeans, and then you cut them at the thigh or really really wherever you want, but you cut them at the thigh under the booty. If you have a form, cut it under the form's booty. And then you cut everything out, and then you just leave the belt, like, well, the belt loops so cut everything out leave the belt loops okay and that's it then you have those one kind of like chap jeans I don't know because you know how like there used to be those like buttless chaps but I feel like only, like guys were wearing them like the cowboys and stuff were wearing them You know who I, I seen somebody rocking it kind of like that. It was Demi Lovato. For her MTV performance, she had like a black kind of chaps. I don't know if they were jeans or something, but they were black chapped bottoms. I'm calling them chap because I just remember back in the day, like cowboys used to wear these like chapless like sh pants or something i don't know if you guys understand what i'm saying give this video a thumbs up if you understand what i'm saying but i'll show you guys how this looks on the form and everything okay. so now i put it on and this is just a test you know but i kind of do you know i'm kind of feeling the outfit already i put the outfit on and mm, that doesn't work this looks a little bit better okay so basically you get a blue jumpsuit or whatever color jumpsuit you can find. Any jumpsuit that you already have will do. And they could be the shorts or the long pants. These are like a shorts jumpsuit. And then you put these buttless chaps on top of them. So basically it becomes a belt. So look, this is like automatically a belt. And then the side I don't know maybe I didn't put mine on right something's not working out but you get the, the hang of what I'm trying to show you and then this is you know how the bottom all I did was just cut the front out and also the back out and then as you can see now it's buttless chaps y'all buttless chaps damn shame let me see I can't it's hard for me to show you you know how it really looks but this is how it looks in the back. And so you could just imagine how, you know, cute it would be if you, you know, put on your heels, whatever heels you're going to be wearing is going to be cute. And that's basically, you know, the style. And I really like this style. This is a cutie. So you can change it up also by just wearing different color rompers. Um, and you can wear... You know, short, shorter rompers will probably look cute as well. You know, like a shorts outfit. But then it just depends because your booty, if you wear some shorts with it, then your booty's going to be, booty cheeks are going to be hanging out. So I feel like the longer ones are the best ones to go with. So that way you can wear it more places because if your booty cheeks are hanging out, then it might not be, you know, suitable for kids. If the booty cheeks are not hanging out because you have either the long shorts, you see, or, you know, even your rompers that go all the way down, then you should be fine. So these are super easy to make. And I just did this in the comfort of my own home, in my bathroom, 
and I'm done. And now I have an outfit, and this is a cute ass outfit. I feel like I will be wearing this. Oh yeah, and they're super easy to take off and put on. All you do is just put them on, sort of like how you would put on some leg warmers. You put your feet in there first, your legs, and then you just um, button it right here at the waist. And it's easy to take off because all you have to do is just unbutton it and take it off. So here are the chaps on my form. I need to set it up just a little bit better, but let's just say you had wider hips. This could accentuate them for sure. Let me set it up just a little bit better. So this is how it looks and it looks pretty cute. I still think that it looks cuter on myself. I think that it's gonna really look cute with heels or maybe, you know, whatever comfortable shoes that you wanna wear, as long as you're just rocking that thing. Girl, go. You are going to look so fly in these. <laughs> so let's see how it looks in the back. So I had to rig it up in the back because the mannequin's waist is just too small. My waist is not that small and in standard US size, I wear an XL. So this is how it looks in the back to give you an example. The booty is out, which is why I'm calling these chaps. I mean, I don't know. I, that's what I remember. Every time when I seen a booty out, it was like a cowboy and they were, they were wearing buttless chaps or something like that. And this is exactly what this is. This is basically bringing back that style. So buttless chaps in the back out. Um, these are black jeans. Get your black jeans out. Um, you can cut them in the front to, you know, have the ripped look, or you don't even have to have the ripped look. Then cut the booty out. That's all you have to do is cut the booty out and you're on, okay? So let's turn it back around and show you how it looks in the front again. You're going to cut the front out too at the crotch and hip area, just above the top of the thigh section, and then make sure all your other holes are cut out if you want or you don't have to have any holes cut out at all or you can have one leg cut out and the other leg not even cut out you know it's a lot that you can do you can also cut these and have them be the buttless chap shorts so there's plenty of things that you can do to you know design your own clothes and you know make a statement for yourself so you're going to be the only one wearing it because it's kind of like taboo i kind of you know i feel like people don't really want to wear this kind of stuff but then they do but then it's like eh, i don't know how it's gonna look so mm, it doesn't really look that good to me so no girl but to a person like me i love it i like this style so if you agree with me please give this video a thumbs up i really appreciate it. so also you can follow me on um instagram and facebook at my luxury first and i will talk to you guys in my next video have a great day bye so I just want to show you guys these one more time laying down and that way you can kind of get kind of an idea of where to make your cuts at and they are handmade by me and you can make your own too but I think I really like these and I especially liked how they fit on me I mean obviously if you have some jeans already at the house that you really love how they fit and you don't mind cutting them up those would be the best jeans to use Boom, bop, boom, bop. So that's how those look. So I feel like I need to go through all my jeans and see which ones I want. Put it on your ass if you're giving it up. And you know I'm not a hater. And if you feel bad, then you call them up later and tell them you all jaded.